Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'm creator of the game Druid, Test of Faith, and today let's talk about Singleton Potom. A lot of developers do not like this Potom, and I have no idea why, because it is extremely important and powerful when you're making a 2D game like mine. Basically, it fits for any game, but if you would like to manipulate your data properly, you will need a Singleton Potom. So, first of all, let's talk about what is the Singleton Potom in Unity. The Singleton is a basic game design Potom, and the classes implementing Singleton Potom will ensure that only one instance of the object ever exists at any one time. And it is important to understand that you cannot use Singleton Potom for multiple game objects, which copy itself multiple times. That means that Singleton Potom in Unity best of all fits for audio or game management. Now let's try to create our own Singleton Potom. For that purpose, let's open up Unity, right-click in Project folder, hit Create, and then C-sharp script, and call it Singleton Example. So now let's open up JetBrains Rider and take a look how to implement Singleton Potom. So first of all, we need to create a public static variable with same name as our current class. So let's write public static Singleton Example instance equals to null. Next, in the start method below, we need to write an if statement. If instance equals to null, instance will be equals to this class. And else, if instance variable is already instantiated, we need to destroy this game object. We need to do it because if we will have multiple instances of current singleton class, it will create lots of errors and fully crash the application. Now, let's test our singleton button. For that purpose, we will need to add one more variable public string singleton example. Now let's create another c -sharp script file and call it test. Open this up in JetBrains Writer, and inside the update method let's write debug.log singletonExample.instance.string. If for some reason you didn't get what is happening, well, in this place we are trying to get our singleton button instance and take variable from it, and output it to console log in Unity. Now let's open up Unity and create two blunt game objects. One of them I will call singleton, and another one test. Next, we need to attach our just created scripts to the game objects. If now we would like to select our singleton game object, we can see our string variable and change it if we would like to. Now, to test our singleton, let's hit play and open up console log. As you can see, now everything is working and singleton example is debugging from test script. And all of it we could achieve with a single line of code, without any script dragging or interconnection between each other. Well, basically, it's all you need to know about Singleton Potton itself and its implementation. Now let's make our Singleton Potton work through inheritance. It will be much easier for you to implement in future. For it, you will need to download this code you see right now. The link will be in the comment section below. Next, you will need to add it to your project scripts folder. Now, in our Singleton example script, we can completely remove the if statement. And next, remove the instance variable. Afterward, instead of mono behavior inheritance, we need to write singleton, singleton example. And now we have only one line of code we need to write instead of many, what is extremely comfortable for us. Next, if we will open our script file test, we will see what there is an error. It's really easy to fix, we just need to change our lowercase i to uppercase. And everything will be working. Great, now let's take a look how to use the singleton button in the real game project. Right now you can see the singleton I use in my game. It's a game manager. If we will take a look how this game manager represents in Unity, we will see a bunch of variables. Same as scene music, main camera and player. And through these variables I can control a numerous amount of game objects. For example, camera game object. In previous video I told you about parallax effect. So parallax is dependent on current camera position, and instead of attaching camera object to every parallax script and every game object, we need to write a simple singleton pattern for it. And using only one line of code we can attach camera game object position to current parallax script for all parallax game object, and it could be about 50 or even 70 different parallax game objects on your scene. And if you try manually attach camera game object to every one of them, you will be nuts, and maybe you will make an error. Also, I would like to tell you about player game object. At game start, no one of my enemies know about player position anything. But since my game manager singleton is loaded, every one of my enemies can know the current player position and calculate its range to attack. And even you just spawned enemies can find player game object with a single line of code via game manager. And in the end, I would like to tell you, please use the singleton button. It will grant you lots of benefits and you will be succeeded with it. So that's it for this video, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.